Have you ever wondered why it's so challenging to change just one small habit, even though you know it can make a big difference in your life? How many times have you promised yourself to start exercising more, eat healthier, or be more mindful, only to find those promises quickly forgotten? What if I told you that the secret to transforming your life lies in understanding the power of these small habits and learning from ancient wisdom? Imagine this. A tiny drop of water might seem insignificant, but over time, it can carve through rock. Similarly, small habits might appear trivial, but they can have a profound impact on your life. Let's explore how these tiny changes, influenced by the teachings of Buddhism, can lead to significant transformations. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where we explore how ancient wisdom can illuminate modern life. If you find these insights valuable, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. There are so many views on this channel, but only 0.2% subscribe, so please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring more transformative content to you. In this video series, we'll uncover how the small habits you cultivate daily can reshape your entire life. Through the lens of Buddhism, we'll delve into how simple practices can lead to profound changes. You'll learn how to harness the power of these small habits to improve your well-being, achieve your goals, and lead a more fulfilling life. Stay tuned as we break down these concepts and provide actionable tips to help you embrace the power of small habits. Let's get started on this journey of transformation together, understanding the concept of habits, how they shape our lives. Let's begin by understanding what habits are and how they shape our lives. Habits are the small actions we take every day, often without thinking about them. They become routines and over time they can significantly influence our lives. Imagine a river cutting through a valley. It starts with a tiny stream, but over time, carves out a deep, wide path. Similarly, our habits, no matter how small, shape the course of our lives. Have you ever noticed how brushing your teeth in the morning is automatic? It's a habit you don't even need to think about anymore. But not all habits are as beneficial as brushing your teeth. Some can be unhelpful or even harmful. For instance, if you often find yourself scrolling through social media for hours, it might be a habit that takes away from more meaningful activities. Buddhism teaches us about the importance of mindfulness and awareness. It encourages us to be fully present in each moment and to make conscious choices. This idea can help us understand how habits work. When we're mindful, we become aware of our habits and can decide whether they serve us well or need to be changed. The process of habit formation involves repeating an action until it becomes automatic. For example, when you first learn to ride a bike, you have to think about every move. But eventually, it becomes second nature. This is how habits work. They start with deliberate actions and, with repetition, become part of our daily routine. Understanding habits also involves recognizing how they form and change. It often starts with a cue or trigger. For example, feeling stressed might lead you to reach for a snack. The behavior is the action you take like eating the snack, and the reward is the comfort or relief you feel afterward. This loop, cue behavior, reward, helps form and reinforce habits. Now, Let's consider how Buddhism's focus on mindfulness and intentional living applies to this concept. In Buddhism, there's a practice called sati, or mindfulness. This involves paying close attention to your thoughts, actions, and feelings. By being mindful, you can notice your habits and understand why you do what you do. This awareness can help you change unhelpful habits and develop new, positive ones. Take, for instance, the habit of checking your phone first thing in the morning. This habit can lead to stress and distraction. By applying mindfulness, you can become aware of this habit and understand its impact on your day. With this awareness, you can choose to replace it with a more beneficial habit, like starting your day with a few minutes of meditation or setting a positive intention. Changing habits might seem challenging, but it starts with small, intentional steps. Buddhism teaches that change doesn't happen overnight. It's a gradual process that requires patience and persistence. You can start by making one small change at a time. For example, if you want to develop a habit of reading more, begin with just five minutes a day. Gradually, 
this small effort can become a regular part of your routine. It's also important to be compassionate with yourself during this process. Habits don't change instantly, and setbacks are part of the journey. Buddhism emphasizes self-compassion and understanding. If you slip up, don't be too hard on yourself. Instead, recognize the mistake, learn from it, and keep moving forward. In summary, understanding habits involves recognizing their power and impact on our lives. By applying mindfulness, as taught in Buddhism, we can become more aware of our habits and make intentional changes. It's a gradual process, but with patience and persistence, small changes can lead to significant transformations in our lives. Embrace this journey with an open heart and mind, and you'll discover the profound impact that small habits can have on your well-being and happiness. The Buddhist Approach to Mindfulness and Daily Practices In Buddhism, mindfulness is like a gentle guide that helps us navigate the chaos of daily life. It's not about changing who we are, but about becoming more aware of how we live each moment. Imagine mindfulness as a light that helps you see things more clearly, even in the midst of confusion. It's about paying attention to the present moment with a sense of calm and curiosity. So, how does this ancient practice of mindfulness relate to small habits? Well, mindfulness teaches us to be present in whatever we are doing, no matter how small. Whether you're eating a meal, brushing your teeth, or taking a walk, mindfulness encourages you to fully engage in the experience. This means paying attention to your senses, your thoughts, and your feelings without rushing through them. Let's consider a simple example. Think about washing your hands. Instead of rushing through it as just a chore, mindfulness suggests that you focus on the sensation of the water, the smell of the soap, and the feeling of your hands being cleaned. This small shift in attention can make even routine activities more meaningful and less automatic. Now, you might be wondering, how can this help with building positive habits? By being more present, you become more aware of your actions and choices. This awareness helps you recognize when you're slipping into old patterns and gives you the opportunity to make a different choice. For instance, if you're trying to develop a habit of exercising, mindfulness can help you notice when you're tempted to skip a workout and remind you of why you wanted to start in the first place. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine doesn't require a lot of time or special equipment. It's about finding small moments throughout your day where you can practice being present. It might be as simple as taking a few deep breaths before a meeting savoring each bite of your meal, or taking a mindful walk in nature. These small, mindful moments accumulate and lead to a greater sense of overall well-being. Buddhism also teaches us about the concept of impermanence, which means that everything in life is constantly changing. By understanding this, we learn not to get too attached to our successes or failures. Instead, we embrace each moment as it comes and do our best without being overly concerned about the outcome. This mindset helps reduce stress and encourages us to keep moving forward, even when things don't go as planned. Another important concept in Buddhism is compassion, which involves being kind and understanding toward ourselves and others. When we practice mindfulness, we become more aware of our own needs and the needs of those around us. This awareness helps us develop habits that reflect compassion, such as being more patient, listening more attentively, and offering support to others. To build these small habits, start by choosing one simple activity to practice mindfulness with each day. It could be as simple as drinking a cup of tea or taking a few moments to breathe deeply before starting a task. As you become more comfortable with these practices, you can gradually incorporate mindfulness into other areas of your life. Remember. The goal is not to be perfect, but to be present. Small, consistent actions, guided by mindfulness, can lead to significant changes over time. By embracing this approach, you not only improve your own life, but also contribute positively to the lives of those around you. So, take a deep breath and start small. Notice the little things, be present in each moment, and let mindfulness guide you toward building habits that enhance your life. The journey of mindfulness is a continuous one, and with each step, you'll find yourself growing more aware and more connected to the world around you. The Science of Habit Formation How to Build and Break Habits When we think about habits, we often focus on what we want to change or achieve. But what if we looked at it differently? 
Understanding the science behind habits can give us powerful tools to build new ones and break the old ones. Let's explore how habits form and how we can use this knowledge to create lasting change in our lives. Habits are like pathways in a forest. When you walk the same path repeatedly, it becomes clearer and easier to follow. Similarly, our brains create strong connections for the behaviors we repeat often. This is called the habit loop, and it consists of three parts, the cue, the routine, and the reward. Imagine you feel stressed cue. To relieve the stress, you might reach for a snack routine. The comfort of eating that snack, reward, reinforces the habit. Over time, this loop becomes automatic. You don't even need to think about it. You just act. But how do we change these habits? The key lies in understanding that while the cue and reward stay the same, you can change the routine. For instance, if you want to replace snacking with a healthier habit, you might decide to take a walk or practice deep breathing when you feel stressed. The cue, stress, and reward feeling better remain, but the routine changes. Breaking a habit follows a similar process. Identify the cue and reward associated with the habit you want to change. Then, find a new routine that provides the same reward but is healthier or more beneficial. This approach helps you create new pathways in the forest of your mind, making it easier to adopt new habits and discard old ones. It's also important to be patient and kind to yourself during this process. Habits don't change overnight. It takes time and consistent effort to shift these ingrained patterns. Celebrate small victories and understand that setbacks are a natural part of the journey. In Buddhism, there is a practice called mindfulness, which can be very helpful in forming new habits. By being aware of your thoughts and feelings, you can notice when you're falling into old patterns and gently guide yourself back to your new routine. Mindfulness helps you stay present and focused making it easier to create positive changes in your life. Another important aspect of habit formation is setting realistic goals. Start with small, achievable steps rather than trying to make drastic changes all at once. For example, if you want to build a habit of daily exercise, begin with just five minutes a day and gradually increase the time as it becomes easier. Small, consistent efforts lead to lasting changes. Remember, the journey of habit formation is a gradual one. Embrace each step with patience and compassion. By understanding the science behind habits and using these insights to guide your actions, you can make meaningful changes that enhance your life and well-being. Through this process, you are not only reshaping your habits, but also deepening your understanding of yourself. As you make these changes, you will find that the new habits you build become a natural and fulfilling part of your daily life, leading to greater happiness and balance. Transformative morning routines, starting your day with purpose. As the sun rises, so too does the opportunity for a new beginning. A morning routine is like the first step on a path. Just as a small step can lead to a great journey, so too can small morning habits set the tone for the rest of your day. Consider the simplicity of a morning ritual in Zen practice. In the stillness of the early hours, a Zen master might begin the day with a quiet moment of meditation, a few deep breaths, or a gentle stretch. This moment of calm is not about doing more, but about being more present. It's about setting a foundation for the day with a clear and peaceful mind. Now think about your own mornings. How do you start your day? Do you rush out of bed and immediately dive into the chaos of daily life? Or do you take a moment to breathe and center yourself? The way you begin your day can have a profound effect on how you experience the hours that follow. Small habits in the morning, like a few minutes of mindfulness, can transform how you respond to the challenges ahead. Let us explore a few simple morning habits that can make a big difference. Start with the act of gratitude. Before you even leave your bed, take a moment to reflect on what you are grateful for. It might be the warmth of your bed, the comfort of your home, or the opportunity to start a new day. This small practice can shift your mindset from one of stress to one of appreciation. Next, consider the power of movement. Gentle stretching or a short walk can wake up your body and mind. It doesn't need to be vigorous exercise, just enough to get your blood flowing and your thoughts aligned. This practice is like a small seed that, when nurtured, grows into a habit that enriches your entire day. 
Another habit to incorporate is a moment of quiet reflection. Spend a few minutes in silence, focusing on your breath or your surroundings. This simple act of stillness can help you cultivate a sense of calm and presence, which can carry you through the day with a clearer mind and a more balanced spirit. Remember, these small habits are not just tasks to check off. They are moments to reconnect with yourself and your intentions. In the quiet of the morning, you have a chance to set a positive tone for the day, to align your actions with your values, and to start each day with a sense of purpose. The key to these morning practices is consistency. Just as a river shapes the land over time, so too do these small habits shape your life. By incorporating these practices into your daily routine, you create a steady foundation for personal growth and well-being. In Zen teachings, there is a saying, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Your morning routine is that single step. Each small habit you cultivate is a step toward a more mindful and fulfilling life. Embrace these small changes with patience and dedication, and you will find that they lead to significant transformations. As you continue to explore and implement these morning habits, remember that the journey is as important as the destination. Each day is an opportunity to start anew, to cultivate positive habits, and to align your actions with your deepest values. Let each morning be a reminder of the power of small changes and the impact they can have on your life. In the practice of Zen, simplicity is key. By focusing on small, meaningful habits, you create a life that is both purposeful and fulfilling. May your mornings be filled with peace, clarity, and the gentle reminder that even the smallest habits can lead to the greatest transformations. Mindful eating, small changes for a healthier lifestyle. Eating is something we do every day, but how often do we truly pay attention to what we're eating? Imagine if each meal was a moment of mindfulness, a chance to connect with ourselves and nourish our bodies with intention. Let's explore how mindful eating, a practice inspired by Buddhism, can transform our daily habits and lead to a healthier, more balanced lifestyle. Think about how you eat your meals. Are you often distracted by the TV, your phone, or your thoughts? Many of us eat on autopilot, quickly consuming our food without really tasting it. This hurried approach can lead to overeating and a lack of appreciation for the food we have. Mindful eating invites us to slow down and fully engage with our meals. Start by taking a moment before each meal to breathe deeply and express gratitude for the food in front of you. This simple act can set the stage for a more mindful eating experience. As you begin eating, pay attention to the textures, flavors, and aromas of your food. Notice how each bite feels and tastes. Chew slowly and savor every mouthful. Buddhism teaches us to be present in every moment, and eating is no exception. When we eat mindfully, we're not only improving our relationship with food, but we're also fostering a deeper connection with ourselves. This practice helps us recognize our hunger cues and eat in a way that supports our well-being. Mindful eating also encourages us to choose our foods with intention. Instead of reaching for whatever is most convenient, we can select foods that nourish our bodies and align with our health goals. By being more aware of what we're eating, we make choices that support our physical and mental well-being. Consider this. Each meal is an opportunity to practice mindfulness and self-care. By incorporating small changes, such as eating without distractions and savoring each bite, we can transform our eating habits and enhance our overall health. These small adjustments might seem minor, but they can lead to significant improvements in how we feel and how we care for ourselves. Eating mindfully doesn't mean we have to make drastic changes all at once. Start with one small change, like eating one meal a day without distractions. Gradually incorporate more mindful practices as you become comfortable. Over time, these small changes will become natural, and you'll notice a positive shift in your relationship with food. It's also helpful to approach mindful eating with curiosity and patience. Don't judge yourself if you find your mind wandering or if you eat more quickly than you intended. Simply bring your attention back to the present moment and continue practicing. Mindfulness is a journey, not a destination. Remember, the goal of mindful eating is not perfection, but rather to cultivate a deeper awareness of how we nourish ourselves. By making these small, conscious changes, 
We align our eating habits with the principles of mindfulness and well-being taught in Buddhism. Incorporating mindful eating into your daily routine can lead to lasting benefits for your health and overall quality of life. It's a practice that fosters a healthier relationship with food and helps us live more intentionally. Embrace these small changes with an open heart and watch as they transform your lifestyle for the better. Incorporating gratitude, a habit to transform your mindset. Gratitude is like a gentle breeze that refreshes the mind and soul. It's a simple habit, yet it holds the power to transform your entire outlook on life. Let's delve into how incorporating gratitude into your daily routine can lead to profound changes in your mindset and overall well-being. Imagine waking up each morning and starting your day by acknowledging the things you're grateful for. It could be as simple as the warmth of the sun, a cup of coffee, or a kind word from a friend. By beginning your day with gratitude, you set a positive tone that can carry you through even the toughest of challenges. This practice helps you focus on the good things in life rather than dwelling on the negatives. Gratitude is not just a fleeting feeling, but a habit that, when nurtured, can become a natural part of your daily life. When you make it a point to regularly express thanks, whether through a gratitude journal, a mental note, or a word of appreciation to someone, you train your mind to see the positive aspects of every situation. This shift in perspective can lead to a more optimistic and peaceful state of mind. In Buddhism, gratitude is deeply connected to the practice of mindfulness. When you are mindful, you become aware of the present moment and appreciate the here and now. By combining gratitude with mindfulness, you enhance your ability to live in the moment and cherish what you have. This alignment with the present can help reduce stress and increase your overall happiness. Start small with gratitude. Each day, take a few moments to reflect on one or two things you are thankful for. They don't have to be grand or significant. Even the smallest things can bring joy. As you make this a regular practice, you will notice how it shifts your focus from what's lacking in your life to what's abundant. Consider setting aside time each day to write down your thoughts of gratitude. This doesn't have to be lengthy. A few sentences about something you appreciate can make a difference. Over time, this habit can become a powerful tool for cultivating a positive mindset. You might find that the more you practice gratitude, the more you notice the good things in your life. It's also important to express your gratitude to others. A simple thank you can go a long way in building and maintaining positive relationships. When you show appreciation to those around you, you not only make them feel valued, but also strengthen your connections with them. Incorporating gratitude into your daily life can also enhance your resilience. When faced with difficulties, having a practice of recognizing what you're grateful for can help you navigate through challenges with a more balanced and hopeful outlook. It reminds you that, even in tough times, there are still things to appreciate and hold on to. This practice aligns with the Buddhist principle of non-attachment. By focusing on what you have rather than what you lack, you cultivate a sense of contentment and reduce the desire for more. This can lead to a more peaceful and fulfilled state of mind. In summary, making gratitude a habit can transform your mindset by shifting your focus from what's wrong to what's right in your life. It helps you appreciate the present moment and enhances your overall well-being. As you incorporate this simple yet powerful practice into your daily routine, you'll likely find yourself experiencing more joy, peace, and satisfaction. Embrace gratitude as a daily habit and watch how it changes your life in profound and beautiful ways. Incorporating gratitude, a habit to transform your mindset. In our busy lives, we often forget to pause and appreciate the little things. But, as a Zen master, I would like to share with you a simple truth. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can transform your mindset and bring deep peace to your life. Think about this. When you wake up in the morning, what is the first thought that comes to your mind? Are you rushing through your day, focusing only on what needs to be done? Or do you take a moment to be grateful for the gift of a new day? This small shift in perspective can make a significant difference. Gratitude is not just about saying thank you when someone does something nice for you. It's a way of seeing the world. In Buddhism, we practice mindfulness to become aware of our thoughts and feelings. By incorporating gratitude into our daily habits, we cultivate a mindset that appreciates the present moment. 
Start by setting aside a few minutes each day to reflect on what you are grateful for. It could be as simple as the warmth of the sun on your face, a kind word from a friend, or a peaceful moment of silence. Write these things down if you can. This small habit helps train your mind to focus on the positive aspects of your life. When we practice gratitude regularly, we shift our focus away from what we lack and instead recognize the abundance in our lives. This change in focus can lead to greater contentment and happiness. It's a gentle reminder that even in challenging times, there is always something to be thankful for. Incorporating gratitude into your daily routine doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal or sharing your appreciation with those around you. The key is to make it a consistent practice. Just as you brush your teeth every day to maintain your oral health, make gratitude a daily habit to nurture your emotional well-being. Remember, the power of gratitude lies in its simplicity. By acknowledging and appreciating the small joys in life, we create a more positive and fulfilling experience. It's a small habit with the potential for great impact. Gratitude also helps us connect more deeply with ourselves and others. When we express appreciation, we foster a sense of connection and build stronger relationships. This, in turn, enriches our lives and brings a sense of harmony and balance. As you go through your day, try to notice moments where you can practice gratitude. Whether it's appreciating a beautiful sunset or being thankful for a kind gesture, these moments of mindfulness add up over time and contribute to a more positive mindset. Incorporating gratitude into your life is not about ignoring challenges or difficulties. It's about recognizing that amidst the struggles, there is always something to be grateful for. This perspective helps us navigate life with a sense of calm and resilience. So, let gratitude be a guiding force in your life. Embrace it as a small habit that can lead to profound changes in how you experience each day. By doing so, you align yourself with a mindset of appreciation and joy, bringing greater peace and fulfillment into your life. In summary, integrating gratitude into your daily routine is a simple yet powerful way to transform your mindset. It's a habit that, when practiced regularly, can lead to a more positive and contented life. Start small, stay consistent, and watch as this practice enriches your journey. Overcoming procrastination, small steps to big changes. In the quiet moments of the morning, when the world is still and calm, many of us find ourselves facing a familiar struggle, procrastination. We tell ourselves we will start working on our goals tomorrow, next week, or sometime in the future. Yet, that future often never comes, and we remain stuck in the cycle of delay and inaction. How can we break free from this cycle and use small steps to make meaningful changes? Procrastination often feels like a mountain too steep to climb, but in reality, it's just a series of small steps that we need to take to move forward. Imagine you're standing at the base of a mountain, looking up at its peak. The task seems overwhelming, but if you focus on taking one small step at a time, you can reach the top. Each small step, no matter how insignificant it seems, is a step closer to your goal. Buddhism teaches us about the power of mindfulness and intention. By being mindful of our actions and setting clear, achievable intentions, we can overcome procrastination. Start by breaking down your tasks into smaller, manageable pieces. For example, if you need to write a report, begin by setting aside just 10 minutes to outline your ideas. The key is to begin with a small action, which can help build momentum and make the task feel less daunting. In daily life, we often let distractions pull us away from our tasks. Buddhism encourages us to be present and focused. By practicing mindfulness, we can improve our concentration and stay on track with our goals. Try setting aside specific times for your tasks and create a quiet, distraction-free environment to work. This simple change can help you stay focused and reduce the tendency to procrastinate. Another powerful technique is to set small, specific goals. Instead of saying, I will exercise more, commit to a specific action such as I will take a 10-minute walk every day. These small, specific goals are easier to achieve and help build positive habits over time. Each small success will boost your confidence and encourage you to take the next step. 
Remember, it's not about making drastic changes overnight, but about making consistent small efforts. Each tiny action you take contributes to a larger goal. Celebrate these small victories as they are the building blocks of success. Over time, these small actions will accumulate and lead to significant progress. The teachings of Buddhism emphasize the importance of patience and persistence. Understand that overcoming procrastination is a journey, not a destination. Be patient with yourself and recognize that it's okay to make mistakes along the way. What matters is that you keep moving forward one small step at a time. To help combat procrastination, create a daily routine that incorporates your goals. Establish specific times for working on your tasks and stick to them. By creating a routine, you create a structure that supports your efforts and helps you stay focused. Incorporate mindfulness into your routine. Before starting a task, take a few moments to breathe deeply and set a clear intention for what you want to achieve. This practice can help center your mind and prepare you for productive work. It's also helpful to find an accountability partner. Share your goals with someone you trust and ask them to check in on your progress. Having someone to support and encourage you can make a big difference in staying on track. Finally, be kind to yourself. Procrastination is a common challenge, and it's important to approach it with compassion and understanding. Recognize that everyone struggles with procrastination at times, and that it's a normal part of the process. In summary, overcoming procrastination involves taking small, consistent steps and being mindful of your actions. By setting specific goals, creating a routine, and practicing patience, you can build positive habits and make meaningful progress. Remember, the journey to change begins with a single step, and every small effort counts. Embrace these small steps with mindfulness, and you'll find yourself moving closer to your goals each day. The Impact of Digital Detox Reclaiming Your Time and Focus In our busy lives, we are surrounded by screens. Phones, computers, tablets, they're always with us. These screens, while useful, often distract us and pull our attention away from what really matters. But what happens when we take a break from all this digital noise? This is known as a digital detox. Imagine your mind as a clear, still pond. When you toss a stone into it, the water becomes rippled and disturbed. This is what happens when we constantly check our devices. The ripples make it hard to see clearly and focus on what's important. A digital detox is like allowing the pond to settle helping you regain clarity and focus. Taking a break from screens allows us to reconnect with ourselves and the world around us. It gives us a chance to reflect, think deeply, and be present in the moment. This is a practice that aligns well with Buddhist teachings. Buddhism emphasizes being present and mindful in our daily lives. When we disconnect from the constant buzz of digital notifications, we create space for mindfulness and inner peace. When you start a digital detox, it doesn't mean you have to give up technology completely. It simply means setting aside certain times of the day or week when you focus on being screen-free. For instance, you might choose to spend the first hour of your day without checking your phone or dedicate one evening a week to unplugging from all digital devices. During these screen-free moments, you might find yourself more connected to your surroundings. You might notice the beauty of nature, feel more engaged in conversations, and discover new hobbies or interests. Without the constant distractions, you may also find that you have more time for reflection and personal growth. This practice of taking breaks from digital screens can help you manage stress better. Constant exposure to screens and digital media can lead to information overload and anxiety. By giving yourself time away from screens, you allow your mind to rest and reset, reducing stress and enhancing your overall well-being. In Buddhism, there is a concept called right mindfulness, which involves being fully aware and attentive to the present moment. A digital detox helps you practice this by removing distractions and allowing you to focus more on your immediate experiences. It encourages you to live more intentionally and attentively. When you begin a digital detox, start small. You don't have to make drastic changes overnight. Begin with short periods of screen-free time and gradually increase them. Notice how you feel during these times. Do you feel more relaxed, more focused, or more connected to your surroundings? 
The benefits of a digital detox are not just physical, but also emotional and mental. You may find that you sleep better, feel less anxious, and have more meaningful interactions with others. It's about creating balance and allowing yourself to experience life more fully without the constant pull of digital distractions. Remember, the goal of a digital detox is not to reject technology, but to use it more mindfully. By setting boundaries and being intentional about your screen time, you can reclaim your time and focus, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling life. In summary, a digital detox is a powerful practice that aligns with the teachings of mindfulness and presence. By taking breaks from screens, you can create space for reflection, reduce stress, and enhance your overall well-being. It's a simple but effective way to regain control of your time and focus, allowing you to live more fully and meaningfully. The power of consistency. Turning small habits into lifelong practices. Ah, consistency. A word that often sounds simple, but holds a depth of wisdom. Imagine a river flowing gently over rocks. It does not need to be strong or aggressive. Yet over time, it smooths those rocks, changes their shape. This is the essence of consistency, a quiet, steady force that brings about change. Today, let's explore how small habits practiced consistently can transform our lives just like the river shapes the rocks. In the hustle and bustle of life, we often look for quick solutions, instant results. We want to lose weight fast, learn a new skill overnight, or find inner peace in a day. But life doesn't work this way. Real change, meaningful growth, comes from the little things we do every day, not from the big things we do once in a while. It is like planting a seed. You water it, give it sunlight, care for it daily. Slowly it grows. You cannot rush it, nor can you ignore it. Only through consistent care does it become a strong tree. Buddhism teaches us to embrace this power of consistency. In meditation, we do not expect enlightenment on the first day. We sit, breathe, and focus again and again. Each session might seem small, but together they bring peace, clarity, and understanding. The same goes for any habit. Whether it's reading a few pages each day, taking a short walk, or spending a moment in silence. These small actions, repeated daily, build a foundation for a better life. Think about brushing your teeth. It's a small task done every day. You don't skip it because you're too busy or not in the mood. And why? Because you know it keeps your teeth healthy. The same mindset applies to other habits. If you start reading just one page a day, imagine how many books you could finish in a year. If you meditate for five minutes each morning, think about how much calmer and centered you could become. The power lies not in doing a lot at once, but in doing a little every day. Consistency is not about perfection. It's not about never missing a day. It's about building a rhythm, a pattern that supports you. If you miss a day, don't be discouraged. Simply start again the next day. The key is to make these habits a natural part of your life, like breathing. No one is perfect. What matters is getting back on track, just like the river that flows around obstacles and keeps moving. Imagine your life as a garden. Each habit is a seed you plant. Some seeds take longer to sprout than others. And that's okay. The garden doesn't grow in a day. It takes time, patience, and care. But as you water it consistently, you will see the flowers bloom, the trees grow, and your garden will become a place of beauty and peace. This is what consistency does. It turns your life into a garden of positive habits, where each habit supports your well-being, happiness, and growth. Now let's talk about challenges. Yes, there will be days when you don't feel like sticking to your habits. Days when you are tired, busy, or simply not in the mood. This is natural. It's part of being human. But remember, it's on these days that your consistency matters the most. Even if you do just a small part of your habit, like reading half a page instead of a full one, or meditating for two minutes instead of five, you are still keeping the momentum. You are showing up for yourself, and that makes all the difference. Consistency is not a race. It's a journey, a gentle, ongoing journey that takes you step by step towards your goals. Each small habit is a stepping stone, and each time you practice it, you take a step forward. Some steps will feel easy, others will be hard, but each one moves you closer to where you want to be. 
And the best part? Over time, these habits become easier. They become part of who you are, like second nature. Let us also remember that consistency is not only about doing. It's also about being. Being consistent in how we treat ourselves with kindness, patience, and forgiveness. If you fall off track, don't be harsh on yourself. It's okay to stumble. What's important is to get up, dust yourself off, and continue. In Buddhism, we talk about the middle path, not too strict, not too loose, but balanced. This applies to habits too. Be consistent, but also gentle with yourself. Consistency brings trust. Trust in yourself. Each time you keep a promise to yourself, no matter how small, you build trust. This trust is the foundation of confidence and self-belief. When you know you can rely on yourself to stick to your habits, you feel stronger, more capable. This trust grows with each day you show up, with each small habit you practice. It's like building a friendship with yourself, based on reliability and care. Now think about the end of the day. As you lie in bed, you reflect on your day. The small habits you've practiced consistently give you a sense of accomplishment, no matter how your day went. They're your anchors, keeping you grounded, focused, and moving forward. This feeling of consistency brings peace. You know you are taking steps, however small, towards your goals, your dreams, your better self. In conclusion, remember the river that shapes the rocks. It is not through force but through gentle, consistent flow. Your small habits are the same. They don't need to be grand or impressive. They just need to be consistent. Let these habits flow into your daily life, shaping you into a person of strength, peace, and wisdom. Trust in the power of consistency. It is the quiet force that will bring lasting change and lead you to a life of fulfillment and joy. As we journey together, let us embrace this power of consistency. Let our small habits become the foundation of our growth. One step, one day at a time, this is how we change. This is how we transform. This is how we live a life of meaning, purpose, and happiness. Conclusion Embracing small habits for a meaningful and fulfilling life. As we come to the end of our journey together, let us reflect on the wisdom we have gathered. Small habits, though seemingly insignificant, hold the power to transform our lives in ways we may not fully understand. Just as a small seed can grow into a towering tree, tiny changes in our daily routines can lead to profound shifts in our overall well-being. In Buddhism, we learn that true transformation comes from within. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Each small habit we cultivate is like that first step. It might not feel monumental in the moment, but over time, it builds a path toward a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Consider how you can apply this wisdom to your daily existence. If you focus on small, mindful actions, whether it's taking a few moments each day to meditate, practicing gratitude, or simply being present in your interactions, you create a foundation for lasting change. These small habits, when practiced consistently, become the pillars of a more harmonious and balanced life. Remember, it's not about making drastic changes overnight. It's about embracing the journey of incremental improvement. Each small habit you adopt is a building block in the structure of your personal growth. By nurturing these habits, you cultivate a garden of positive changes that will flourish over time. Think of the small habits you've learned about throughout this series. How can you integrate them into your life? Perhaps we'll start with just one or two habits, allowing them to become a natural part of your routine. As you do, you'll notice how these small changes ripple through your life, bringing about a greater sense of peace, purpose, and fulfillment. In conclusion, the path to a meaningful life is paved with small, mindful actions. Embrace these habits and let them guide you toward a life of deeper contentment and purpose. As you continue to practice and grow, may you find joy in the journey and satisfaction in the progress you make, no matter how small it may seem. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of how small habits can change your life. May the insights and wisdom shared here help you lead a more fulfilling and meaningful life. May your journey be filled with peace, growth, and happiness. May you continue to find strength and inspiration in the small habits that shape your days. Embrace these habits with an open heart, 
and a mindful spirit. The transformation you seek is within your grasp, and it begins with the simple choices you make each day. Thank you for being a part of this journey. May you find joy in the small habits that lead to great change.